How can you experience the nature of God? Well, that will be explained in the upcoming video. It is about one of the ancient Upanishads and it beautifully describes how to experience God. I have changed the word Brahman from their scriptures into God, since that is the Eastern term for essentially what is known as God in the West. So are you ready? Here we go. Let us meditate on the shining self, changeless underlying the world of change and realized in the heart in Samadhi. Hard to reach is the supreme goal of life, hard to describe and hard to abide in. They alone attain Samadhi who have mastered their senses and are free from anger free from self-will and from likes and dislikes, without selfish bonds to people and things. They alone attain Samadhi, who are prepared to face challenge after challenge in the three stages of meditation. Under an illumined teacher's guidance, they become united with the Lord of Love, called Vishnu, who is present everywhere. Though the three Gunas emanate from him, he is infinite and invisible. Though all the galaxies emerge from him, he is without form and unconditioned. To be united with the Lord of Love is to be freed from all conditioning. This is the state of self-realization far beyond the reach of words and thoughts. To be united with the Lord of Love. Imperishable, changeless, beyond cause and effect. Is to find infinite joy. God is beyond all duality, beyond the reach of thinker and of thought. Let us meditate on the shining self, the ultimate reality who is realized by the sages in Samadhi. God cannot be realized by those who are subject to greed, fear and anger. God cannot be realized by those who are subject to the pride of name and fame or the vanity of scholarship. God cannot be realized by those who are enmeshed in life's duality. But to all who pierce this duality, whose hearts are given to the Lord of Love, He gives Himself through His infinite grace. He gives Himself through His infinite grace. Now this is absolutely beautiful. I know it's, it's pretty short, but what you learned here is that ultimately if we truly give ourselves over to God, to our understanding of God, to the love of God, then we will be lifted up into higher and higher realms of bliss and joy. I can tell you that much. Every time I read that line, he gives himself through his infinite grace. Sometimes I get goosebumps because I can just sense the truth in it. Every time I reach out to God in total surrender, in total allowing myself to be one with this concept of love, of unity, I just feel so much better and I hope you will do as well if you start applying this in your own life. Now if you enjoyed this video please hit the like button below and if you're new to this channel consider subscribing to receive inspirational videos on a regular basis. And with that being said, dear viewer, never forget that we are the dreamers.